So I go and blow color from. Well, today, I guess after after the bill, after the trading day, we see where Eddie Focal dropped the bombshell scene. We see where Eddie Focal released a notice to the, the market saying that it has, it has acquired some website and some assets of another ed tech company in the United States, all right? It is vouching to enter the US market. So it is saying that this is a gateway for it to enter the US market, but we see where the company has changed focus a bit. All right, so whereas the acquisition is still in line with the business, or it's still in the ed tech business, this is where the company has changed focus or stepped down a notch to now start focusing on the kindergarten, right? The kindergarten students, and it's not even the students, but the teachers that operates on the kindergarten level, all right? So I could just up over to the Jamaica Stock Exchange site to see exactly what this acquisition is about. All right. How much I'm paying for the company and all these things and how this acquisition will fit within the edifocal operation. All right. So currently we're on the Jamaica Stock Exchange site and we're seeing where the big headline, edifocal limited all right acquires assets of american k1 edtech saas company i think the k1 stands for kindergarten the first level all right so i could get into what the acquisition is about first so we are it's dated march 29 2022 and that's five six minutes after five all right, so that's after the bill, after the stock exchange has closed or trading, the trading deal was over. But it's saying that Edifocal Limited Learn has acquired the website and assets of Clever Teacher or Clever School Teacher.com. Clever School Teacher.com, a Denver based edtech company that provides monthly curated K1 resources and live online professional development assess sessions. All right, let me do that again. And live online professional development sessions for K-1 teachers in the United States. All right, so it's basically a website. It, it, it buys the website, or this company is really a website company, similar to Edifocal itself, all right? So what it does is to offer its service to kindergarten teachers. So it assists them in developing lessons, all right, for, for their school sessions. All right, so the acquisition, which has been financed by the company, don't know if it sounds like them buy it for cash. So you know the IPO money that I spend this up, all right, will be immediately accretive to earning, all right? So it sounds like it's a company that has, uh, has already been in profit, hopefully, all right? So then basically I say, yo, this will just add to the earnings of a company, all right? So God Swaby, who is the chief executive officer, commented, acquisition and new markets are high on our agenda as a primary driver of top and bottom line growth, all right? So there you have it from the CEO, them claims there. Uh, for growth, they are planning on growing both the top line and the bottom line of the company, right? And they want to do this through acquisition, all right? But remember, it's just a small amount of money the company pick up from half of the market, $130 million, I guess, all right? It's just a small amount of money, all right? And a portion of that is supposed to go to paying, paying off some of the debt that the company owes, all right? So 
them now saying that, look, we are, we are going to grow through acquisition, how much of or how much growth through acquisition, how much acquisition can they really get through or, or get out of the money that they raise from the IPO because just a handful, just chicken feed money. All right, so there is nothing in this document that tells us the purchase price of the company, what did they pay, all right, for, for, for this website and the asset that they claim to acquire. All right, so the acquisition of clever school teacher gives us immediate presence in the US, which is true on day one. All right, so they are seeing this acquisition as the gateway to the broader market, right? And that's the US market. And they're saying, no, we have access to hard currency and the opportunity at the often overlooked early childhood level, both in Jamaica, the region, and obviously in the US, all right? So again, I must say, all right, we have actually we'll earned some art currency because obviously it's a profit making business or a business that has been up and running. Don't know if it is in profit because most of these companies are barely in profit, if if any at all, because they are fresh. The, 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 the industry is a new industry, as I said before in many of my videos. All right. And they are, it's pretty young industry. So and they need that skill, that, that, that level. I, I mean, a lot of people have to be using the platform for the platform to be in any, any profit, as we see with the Edifocal um, platform itself. It was, it was not until 2020 when a large volume of people start using the platform that we saw the company start making slim profit. All right, so they're saying low. They can earn hard currency, and that is the US dollar from this acquisition. But what is more important is that this acquisition gives them access to a part of the school system. All right, and it gives them opportunity to, to that part of the school system that was neglected, both in Jamaica and regional, and maybe and in the US. And that's the early childhood level. All right, no, for, for real, the early childhood level of the school system is highly neglected in Jamaica. And there's not a lot of money that is flowing through or going towards that aspect of the education system. And there has been a lot of research that, um, that concludes that there should be more resources flowing towards the early childhood um, section of our school system in order to ensure better education for or to ensure that Jamaicans are better educated. Now, with the lack of government support or the negligent and um, the negligible um, amount of money that is flowing to this. To the early childhood um, section of our education system. I do not know if this is a good move by any focal. No, it might be a good move in the US and if they can continue in that market and gain some traction, but as it relates to the Jamaican market, early childhood education in Jamaica is highly neglected by the government and there is no money flowing in that system. So I do not envision the service being taken up by Jamaican teachers, all right? Now, Mark Gill, the lead consultant that drove the deal added, CST, that is Clever School Teacher, demonstrates the vast surface area of opportunities for Edifocal. Edifocal has many niches, including teachers, not just students. Teachers need resources for learning, um, lesson planning. The transaction was structured through the new subsidiary with Ramsey and partner attorney at law advising. All right. 
So the CEO went on to add, we are looking forward to growing an already very profitable company even more in the short term, which will benefit our shareholders and a fast growing number of international users. All right. So there you have it, Eddie Focal making steps, making progress very early in the game. All right. And we see where the company purchased this website um, that caters to kindergarten teachers, offering them resources, offering them resources so as to hear them in the planning of their lesson and their lesson plan. All right. And they're saying this is a gateway into the US market, which they plan on entering anyways. All right. So Gordon Swaby, the CEO, states that the strategy of the company is to grow both the top line and the bottom line of the company by acquisition, all right, by means of acquisition. And this is just the start of the company showing just that. All right, so there you have it. Edifocal has made its first acquisition. All right, and this gives it uh, this gives it a exposure to the broad US market and it being able to earn foreign currency or the coveted US dollar from this um, acquisition. All right, so we will keep top of this to see what was that acquisition amount, how much did they pay for this company and how this company will fit into the edifocal um, strategy going forward. Also, we want to know whether or not this company is a profitable company or one that the company that edifocal is looking to grow into profit. All right. So keep tuned. Blue color finance. I don't know the tingle. All right, cool.